This one's good too. Crispy chicken boppies with gata or coconut milk. Enjoy everyone. This is chicken gizzards everyone. Make sure you wash it with cold water several times before you boil it. Make sure you add bay leaves, salt and pepper, at saka po konting suka or vinegar. In this case, I use 1 fourth cup vinegar and also cold water, 3 bay leaves, and I also use a pressure cooker which I cook the gizzard for 30 minutes and cold it down before I open the pressure cooker. These are pre-boiled chicken gizzards. I will cut this in small pieces. Also, this is 3 4 pound or 300 grams. We will also use 3 4 pound or 300 grams of boneless, skinless chicken breasts that I cut into the same size like the chicken gizzard when it was cooked. Make sure that your cooking oil is hot enough and that it will make the chicken gizzards crispy. These are all well coated with the cornstarch. And let's fry in batches. Guys, whenever you're frying something that is coated with cornstarch, leave it alone. If you want to brown it, brown it for like two or three minutes before you stir it. Para po dumikit yung cornstarch, magstick yung cornstarch dun sa protein na piniprito nyo. Okay? I cook this for about 4 minutes now, 4 to 5 minutes. Kita nyo, dumikit na yung cornstarch dun sa, sa gizzard. And it's guaranteed that it's uh, crispy. I will put this aside and we will cook the remaining gizzard. Do not crowd your wok. So, hindi bumababa yung temperature ng yung oil. Okay, after the um, chicken gizzards, I use the leftover cornstarch to coat the chicken breast. Now let's fry the chicken breast. Sinisigurado ko pong crispy yung um, chicken. So, I'm fry this for 4 minutes now parang calamario now I am going to transfer it to the plate where the chicken gizzards are pinig na yung ano, timer ha? that's 4 minutes ok I cleaned the wok and I'm now adding 3 tablespoons of cooking oil onions Garlic, five cloves of garlic, minced. Use medium heat after you added the uh, garlic. Cook the garlic for 30 seconds. Adding the carrots. Naglalagay po ako talaga ng carrots sa bopis. After 30 seconds, let's add the um, labanos. For those of you who know the real process of cooking bopis, guys, yung pong hard part, yung pagpapakulo ng mga meat, ay nagawa ko na po at the beginning of the cooking process and I even deep fried it. So ito yung parang I'm putting all the vegetables, kung maglalagay kayo ng vegetables sa bopis nyo, and some of the aromatics, ito po yung kabuuan ng dish. But normally, idinadagdag nyo muna rito, sinasangkot siya nyo, yung inyong mga... Um, inards ng manok. Adding red bell pepper. E eh, nagawa ko na po yun ng una. So, 
we're not gonna do we're not gonna we're skipping that part ground pepper okay I'm not gonna add salt I'm adding two tablespoons of patis fish sauce these are all happening within three to five minutes of cooking uh, the vegetables okay. yung iba naglalagay ng uh, achuete water or achuete oil just gonna add just a few drops para po may konting kulay but not a lot okay this is just a natto seeds that I um, dissolve sa tubig for a natto powder achuete although I pre-boiled the um, gizzards with suka or vinegar I'm adding two tablespoons of vinegar also to the dish. All right, and before I leave it alone, the bicolano in me, I'm adding one cup of coconut milk. Yung iba po, naglalagay ng gata sa kanilang bopis. I'm gonna give this a quick stir, everybody. And then I will leave it alone. Tinikman ko po at it needs more patis, so I'm adding another two tablespoons of patis, everybody. Just in case you want your dish to have an even thicker sauce, you see this? This is the leftover cornstarch that we use when we coated the chicken gizzards and the chicken. So I'm just adding um, three tablespoons of water and I will just dissolve the cornstarch in the water and we will add this to thicken the sauce of our dish. Okay, five minutes is up. I allow the uh, suka to boil off. And now I'm adding, turn the heat to low, everybody. And then add the sile. And stir it. Tikman yun na po, okay? Adding just a tiny bit of this slurry that I made. Hindi ko po idadagdag lahat because I can see wala na halos sabaw yung aking uh, bopis. Okay, now let's add the gizzard and the chicken breast. And if you want to serve it sizzling boppies, melt two tablespoons of butter in a cast iron skillet like this. Then add your bopis. Sizzling crispy chicken bopis, everybody. This one's good too. Crispy chicken bopis with gata or coconut milk. Enjoy everyone. Okay everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video that I just uploaded to all my friends on Instagram, sa YouTube channel under Chef Ron Bilaro, and also sa inyo, my dear Facebook friends. Maraming salamat po and always remember, I love you. I'll see you again next time. Bye! Keep sharing my videos, huh? Bye, everybody.